In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Today, my dear friends, we celebrate the feast of St. Ambrose, the Bishop of Milan. St. Ambrose was appointed a bishop by popular demand of the emperor and the people of Milan. So much so, he wasn't baptized. And so, in a matter of a week, he was baptized, ordained, and instituted as Bishop of Milan. St. Ambrose is remembered and as a good example to all bishops, because as soon as he was appointed as a bishop, he gave all his money, his land, which he possessed since he was of a very rich family, he gave it all to the poor. Secondly, he was firm in his faith, so much so that the Arian heresy, which was prevalent at that time, St. Ambrose went out of the way, out of his way, to make sure that the Arian heresy did not spread. In fact, it got squashed with the help of Ambrose. So he was strong in building up the faith of the church. Thirdly, he confronted the emperor at that time because the emperor had sent 7,000 people of Thessalonica to be massacred. And so Ambrose confronted the bishop and made him do public penance. So here we have a bishop who was a true bishop in the sense of the faith. Let us then approach this Eucharist, knowing that God is on our side when we stand up for the truth. Let us ask the Lord pardon and mercy for all our sins and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries worthily. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy, have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, have mercy on us. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop Saint Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended that her iniquity is pardoned, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, 
make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together from the mouth of the Lord, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry. And I said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows on it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Go on up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good news. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good news. Lift it up, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. Behold his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will tame his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his bosom and gently lead those that are with young. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response. The Lord our God comes with might. Please repeat. The Lord our God comes with might. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his salvation day by day. Our response, the Lord, uh, the Lord our God comes with might. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the people. Say to the nation, the Lord is king, he will judge the peoples in fairness. Our response, the Lord our God comes with might. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. Our response, our Lord, Lord, our God, comes with might. Then will all the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice. He will govern the peoples with his truth. Our response, the, the Lord, Lord, our God, God comes, comes with might. Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The day of the Lord is near. Behold, he comes to save us. Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it. More, than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of my Father in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, this particular sheep got lost because it was in search of greener pastures. The shepherd had taken all hundred to pasture. But this one particular sheep was in search of greener pastures. And so it went astray and got lost. What is it in our lives that make us go in search of greener pastures? Is it fame? Love for that excess money? Entertainment? There are many more things that can take us away from the path of truth and righteousness. We too can go astray like this lost sheep. There's a difference between us and that particular sheep which got lost. Because when the shepherd came and found that sheep, the sheep had no option but to go back with the shepherd. And that is what makes us different from any other animal. We have a choice. We can choose to go back with the shepherd or choose to stay away and still go further and further astray. Advent gives us a chance to introspect and see, first and foremost, have we gone astray from the shepherd? And if we have gone astray from the shepherd, what is that in our life? What are those greener pastures that we are in search of that makes us go astray from the shepherd? And ultimately then we have to look back and see how far have we gone from the Good Shepherd. And so during the season of Advent, we can ask ourselves these questions. First and foremost, to realize, have we gone astray? How far have we gone astray? And then find those areas in our life that make us go astray from the Good Shepherd, leading us away from the path of truth, leading us away from eternal life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brethren, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, 
Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Mm -hmm. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it and then gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Holy Father, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Ambrose, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the power and the glory, the glory are, yours, are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us now wish one another a loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Lead us who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of Saint Ambrose, that hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer for Relief from the Coronavirus Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. 
we pray for doctors nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts we pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through christ our lord amen Jesus Christ living in us you are our gladness forever Jesus Christ living in us you are our gladness forever you are the truth the life amen Cheers.